But some people do <laughs> think that I don't hold my mom foot to the fire. Mm -hmm. And I am the type of person is that I'll tell you how I feel. And if you can still continue to move the way you move, then that's on you. You can't say that Tisha didn't tell me this or Tisha didn't tell me she feels this way. Like, I've been very open with my mom. Don't do this. Don't do that. Yeah. But she's a grown woman. You know, she's going to do what she want to do. Hey, y'all. It's your girl, Millie Chan. I had to play that part for context, right? Because Tisha, Tisha really is a hypocrite. Because if you're saying that you've told your mom not to talk about Mel specifically, right? But she's a grown woman and she's going to do what she wants to do. Why can't that be the same thing for allegedly the millimeters? Right? Like Mel said, that's a group of people that I don't know. I can't control them. But you have a mother that you can call and ask her not to do it, and she still does it. And she does it a little bit different. Let's get into it. So Mel had gone live last night, and she was very direct. It was no misunderstanding. She Kendrick Lamar at that thing. She was talking to Wanda. Right? It was very direct. Uh, Wanda had come after her business. She had come after Mel's character. Mel said she had already texted her lawyer, so the paperwork is on the way. Public service announcement. Wanda Moore Lee. Let me tell you something. The only thing that's whack is your whack-ass hairdo oh. and your whack-ass ugly-looking food truck you had in your background today and your whack-ass food. Ooh. That's what's whack. I don't... Real talk, lady, I don't even, I ain't seen you in I don't know how long. I ain't been thinking about you. And then the, the funny thing is, me and your daughter and your son-in-law actually have a, right now, a decent communication piece. But we actually kind of okay. So you heard Mel say that Tisha, Marceau, and her have a okay communication situation they're talking right and that was the whole thing in the past with wanda speaking up for tisha because she doesn't think tisha has a backbone or tisha doesn't speak up for herself enough right but mel and tisha it showed you know they're sitting down they're talking okay i'm gonna reach out more and i know wanda has to see that because she's watching the episode so she can talk about it right but then her life because I kept saying, I was like, well, why, what has happened? So I went on over there to Wanda's page. Now, Wanda did her public service announcement also, right? At the end of her video, she said that no one has permission to play her video. But those who can handle it, stand it, or want to hear it, it's over there on her page. But basically, she talked about male skincare products. She was trying to say she thinks male uses noxema and she was like i would like to know like who uses male products right i use male products there's no filter we got a few more days i'm on a 30-day trial with seventh avenue it's working it's good but the thing is like why do you have so much energy for male like, did she ever do something to you? I think Wanda is really hot that she's not on that show. And Mel had probably had a say in it. And if she did, I don't blame her. Did you see her running around the Madani parking lot trying to get at her? I don't blame Mel. So then she was saying that Mel was irrelevant if she's irrelevant. And she was trying to say, because I guess um, the benefit that Mel threw for Hill Harper... It didn't get on the show. That's what she was talking about. And then she went on to insinuate that Mel was running up behind Hill Harper. And then she said, why can't we see no phone calls? Why can't we see y'all out together? I haven't heard any phone calls. Why would you hear phone calls, Wanda? Why would you hear phone calls between Mel and anybody? You just talking to be hearing yourself talk. Then she got into how people have been talking about Marceau and Tisha and him cheating. That's been seven or eight years. Uh, we don't go back. We go forward. Why are you talking about Mel? You're not even on the show. You don't have any connection. So 
where are you going? You're going back to when you were on the show. That's not moving forward. Then she went on to say, if a woman approached her about her man cheating on her, and it was 10 years ago, I would tell her to get out of my face. Crazy. Then she started talking about Miss Van. Allegedly insinuating. I'm sorry, insinuating allegedly that Miss Van has left a son behind for some reason. She was talking about the muttless daughters, and she was like, what about the muttless sons? <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> then she was talking about Mel and Marceau's conversation, how Mel got up and walked away after Marceau showed her where he said, some like hashtag free Martel or when he was talking about the millimeters or something like that, right? Then she was like, that's how she got her. She want to walk away, but she going to have the last laugh. Then she said, I will grab you by your hair. Like, Wanda, that is a verbal threat. Did you not know that? That's, that's why Martel was picked up. Harassing communication. You on the YouTube. Girl. Now, what she didn't like, she didn't like that scene that Marceau and Tisha did where Tisha was like, she can control the millimeters. She tells them to activate. And when Marceau said, well, if you don't want Mel to do that, then your mother probably should not do that either. I can't control my mother. She was upset that Marceau was not siding with Tisha because Marceau was like, well, Mel has a point. If you want her to stop the millimeters, you need to stop your mother. Wanda did like that. How Wanda said, baby, honey, when she got to talk about True T, I cannot wait. First of all, she talked about True T's um, thumbnail with, <laughs> with her in the jungle, right? Then she got this little jungle dress on. Then True T was, she was in the comments. But I can't wait. I can't wait. It's the audace for me. <laughs> Baby, when she said Mel was scared of Arion, Arion gonna come on the show and put Mel off the show. She can't wait. She said she doesn't even have to be on there. I knew right then <laughs> that it is a problem. That was crazy. So then she went on to say that she doesn't care what Marceau says or Carlos, right? And I'm guessing she's talking about Mel. She said she shouldn't have never brought my name up and her mother shouldn't have never brought my name up. And then she was saying that she sold information to Miss Black Titanic and also Tisha's address. And she went on to say that until you do right by Tisha, nothing good is going to ever come to you. At the beginning of this video, I Mel told you, she, Tisha, and Marceau are in a good place, right? They, She and Tisha had just had a scene together where it was cordial. Is it that she doesn't want Mel and Tisha to be good so she can have something to talk about? That's what it's giving me, the audace. <laughs> so I'm showing my face, Wanda, because I use 7th Avenue Beauty, right? There's no filter, so... It's me. But then she wants to talk about the hair growth that Tisha's product has done. She said that her grandbaby's hair was like this, but now it's all the way down her back. Well, nobody would even know that <laughs> because it ain't but seven bottles of it. <laughs> what shelf is it on? Does she have a website? Is it her website? That's the question. <laughs> At the end of it, she got off the phone pretty quickly because she said people were contacting her. She had been waiting on this call. It was an emergency. So I do hope everything is okay. I hope everything is fine with her family or whatever it is. But the audace of this live, and no wonder I'm not going to use your likeness. Let's keep going. Child, this is a tailspin, but I'm going to leave you with some words from Mel. It's your girl, Millie Chan. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. To the courthouse, because that's where you about to be, because you finna get served, my girl. I'm not playing with you. I don't make money just for fun. I make money to handle bitches like you. Ooh. So I'm standing on business with you tonight, little Wanda. Standing on business with you tonight, little Wanda. 
Because you've been saying so many lies for years. 